Hello my friends, it's been just over a year since my first What's in My Pencil Case video and now it's time for an update. This is my pencil case in its normal day-to-day -day look, no fancy, fancy updos for it and it is quite a mess. It's May, it is the last month of school, I'm using pencils that not that I found on the floor, I'm not that desperate, but nearly so. And so let's get all of that junk out and focus on the essentials. If you type pencil case into the YouTube search bar, this little guy is absolutely everywhere. He's very durable and very sturdy. I've had him for over a year. I'm using the exact same pencil case as I was last year. And although I don't use the front pocket, the rest of it is very utilized every day for me. In this zipper pocket, I have a few index cards. I'm not a huge index card girly, but when I have them, I am very thankful that I do. I also have this little X-Acto cloud and it's come in useful more than once. I like to try to keep the case as flat as possible, which is why I don't use the zipper pouch for anything else. On the right side are a couple of pencil holders and each slot has a designated purpose. Slot number one being this Zebra Mild Liner with a chisel tip and a bullet nib. And yes, I did just say Zebra instead of Zebra because even though I'm American, Zebra Mild Liners it is. I use these Mild Liners all the time, both in my bullet journal and in my notes or anytime I need to annotate and I can get a lot of motion out of the different tips and pretty much any shape that I want to. In the next slot is my Tombow Fudenoski and this is an absolute must have if you like doing fancy headers on the top of your notes and also about half of the things in this pencil case are solely for my art projects and they have no other purpose. With the Tombow, I'm able to get thin and thick lines very, very easily, perfect for calligraphy or, as I was saying earlier, line art in your art projects. My go-to pen is the Sigmo Micron, and as a lefty, I can endorse that it is nearly smear-free, but I haven't quite found one that works 100% yet. The next piece of stationery that I keep in this front pocket is simply a big. 0.7 pencil. Very simple. I always do tear off the little clip on the side, not on purpose, entirely by accident. They're pretty weak. And with that, we can move on into the larger portion of the inside pouch. First, I keep a Casio calculator, very standard. I don't really know what to say about that. And then a pair of scissors. Next is my own personal expo marker because sometimes the ones that they pass out in class are just simply terrible and I like having my own. Now I'm just sorting through all of the extra pens, pencils, and markers that I have as well as highlighters and just setting aside which ones I actually really need in day to day because there was no way I needed to be carrying around that many pens. I also have both a thin and thick point sharpie and those are just nice to have. Two paintbrushes of pretty bad quality, but they are better than the school issued ones, just barely. And also I have that thick Sharpie I was talking about, as well as an Elmer's glue stick. I have two more things, one of them being a flash drive, because the school computers you can't always save to your own personal email and also this eraser slash pencil sharpener. I accidentally opened it, but luckily I don't use it too often, so I did not make a huge mess. It has the eraser on the top and then the sharpener part on the bottom. And my friends, that concludes this year's pencil case tour. I'm curious, is there anything that you have in your pencil case that I don't have in mine? What am I missing? Let me know down below. Bye guys.